showing you this is a t56 you've converted to sequential um we've got a bolt on sequential shifter okay so you you pull your original shifter off uh, -huh. uh bolt straight on no okay. modifications 100 percent you put a bolt straight on you got a sequential shift action how does it work and is it treatable oh uh, yeah definitely so it was made for a street car yeah um you want to race you can race it really so you could drive around just normally and you won't be have a whiplash have I mean. a feel so pull back pull back to get a second all right, you're, so you're in, in first. Oh, I see it. Yeah, pull back. Opposite, okay. Yeah, yeah, pull back. That's first gear, second gear, third. Yeah, that, try not to concentrate on that. And just watch that. Oh, okay. It's so, okay. Oh. You're in the motorbike before? What's that? You're in the motorbike? A little bit. Yeah, all up and down. So all down. Oh, all okay. Up. All so up, if you yeah. want to go up gears, pull back. Oh, okay, yeah, now we're... And then push down. Yeah, that's it. All right, so is, is there anything in here that prevents you from accidentally over revving it? If you downshift twice in a row, if you're not thinking or something? Um, as long as you feel that shift go in, yeah. you're in gear. Okay. So if you feel it, if you, if you dominate, I mean, if you concentrate on there to there, uh -huh. don't worry about anything else at that point, you're gonna get it in. Okay. So if you wanna go from backward gear, just think about that, push it in. Okay, now I'm just wondering if you're, you know, if you're cruising along in fifth gear and you accidentally do this too many times, and you, you end up in first. Well, that, that'll, that'll tell you. Oh, that, yeah, I see. Yeah. I mean, so are you still using the clutch? Yes. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, still using the clutch. Still using the clutch, okay. Yeah. Oh. So then if you don't want to do that one, you can you can reverse pattern too. So if you don't want to pull back to go up gears, mm -hmm. you can push to go down gears. You just rotate this around. You undo this, rotate him 180, put him back down, and you can reverse pattern. Yeah. You okay. can angle shift. So you take it out 30 degrees, put him down, you can angle shift now towards yourself. Very cool. Yeah. So you just a little shift lever. So 22 and a half degrees, 45 degrees, and then back the same way, straight up and down, and then two that way as well. Okay. Yeah. So you can twist it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All squined up inside. Really nice piece of uh, CNC aluminum here. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like a connecting rod. <laughs> yeah. It's, it will. You know, you're into the motor stuff, so you might as well make it look cool. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's really interesting. I've never, I've only, I've heard about these. I've never seen one though. So. Okay. Well, this is the first time you'll see this one. This has been just released in SEMA, oh, yeah? 2017. Yeah. Okay. I got a, a Firebird Trans Am, so I got the same Trans in my car. Okay, T56. Yeah. T56. No yeah. What are these run? Just out of curiosity, then. Um, 2400. US. US. Yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a lot cheaper than buying a sequential gearbox. I mean, they're going to run you 30, 25. 30,000 bucks for right. a sequential gearbox. So it's a cheap option if you want to uh, if you want to run a sequential shift. So, gotcha. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just a just a nice clean feel. It gives you a bit of a race car feel when you drive. Yeah. yeah but you can also like drive it you know, down the shop with your mum or whatever you want. Mum can drive it. Right. Just have to teach you which way to change gears. Teacher, yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, good talking to you. All right. Yeah. Good, good luck at the show, mate. No worries. Thank you. Grab just a, a lot grab of stuff. A flyer if you want on the car. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Thank you. Sweet. Take care. Sweet. Yep.